like i feel like my skin is like one of those skins that is really sensitive to like everything yes but then again at the same time like you know the things that are supposed to work to fix it don't <laughs> they do <laughs> and they kind of make it worse yes hey everyone welcome back this is my gorgeous model today tina and hi. we're gonna <laughs> hi everyone yes hi. she is the best just saying amazing personality and gorgeous face <laughs> So I'm gonna glam her up today. I thought you guys could come and watch. We're just gonna do some steps and we're doing like a purple eye, very simple skin, um, and then glossy lips. So let's get to the video. So I'm just going, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'm just going in with this Cetaphil cream. It's just very um, good and soothing for the skin. Like, I feel like my skin is like one of those skins that is really sensitive to like everything. Yes. But then again, at the same time, like, you know, the things that are supposed to work to fix it. Don't. They do. And they kind of make it worse. Yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah, it's it's been a mess, honestly. Like, <laughs> <laughs> trying to find the right products for my skin. Of course. And I'm assuming you've tried a lot of different things. A things. lot, yeah. And even like, you go to like the doctors and everything, they tell you, oh, do this, get this, oh. get that. Nothing ever works. Yeah. Yeah. So. You're telling me. So I feel like um you know when people see um others who suffer from acne, just yes. like be kind, be nice, cause you don't know, you don't know what people are dealing with. Can I get an amen? <laughs> mm -hmm. Amen. Right. Yeah, it's it's yeah. tough. You know, like sometimes people who don't deal with acne don't really know like the struggle. Mm -hmm. They don't understand. Yes. They just think it's, you know, oh, just wash your face. Just, you know, have this skincare routine. Just eat this, eat that. But right. it's not, it's not as simple as that. Yes, Especially, I Especially like if you have like hormonal acne mm -hmm. and acne that is part of like a symptom of a, another disease. That's right. It's much, much more like complicated than, yeah. yeah, it's much more complicated than just, you know, wash your face 10 times a day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's much more complicated because do you feel like yeah. sometimes like people think that um, because you have acne you're not like clean and they try to... Yeah, there's usually that stereotype. Yeah. Um, but I think it's really wrong. Cause yes. <laughs> um, and that's not true. Like every single person, especially someone who... As someone who... Um, I am very clean. I'm a very clean person. And as she someone... smells great by the way, just saying. <laughs> You do. <laughs> I do. So I feel like, I mean, everyone has their own kind of like skincare routine, mm -hmm. right? So for you to assume just out of the blue that, oh, you don't really wash your face enough, it's just rude. Yes. Honestly. Um, because, so people yeah, should never do that. I think everyone should just focus that. on their skin and that's it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> and then also our skins were also different, like, you know? Whatever works for you might not work for the next person. So also be mindful when you're giving advice. Yeah, it's just it's just you know just be sensitive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also be mindful. Just yes. be sensitive. Be mindful and make sure that you know you're not assuming. Don't yeah. assume. <laughs> Don't just assume. Ask if you really want to help someone. Just ask them. Okay, what are you dealing with? what exactly are you doing to try and help mm -hmm. um and also change the situation mm -hmm. don't just go in assuming <laughs> that oh maybe you're not doing this enough you're not doing this enough no just ask yeah and you know let the other person open up to you and then if you really know what you're doing and if you really know um you know what could work for that person then go ahead and give them advice if they ask you like, that yes i love that it's, uh, because sometimes people be giving like unsolicited advice yeah. and it's like <laughs> I don't really need that. Honey, <laughs> it doesn't work <laughs> for me. Do you feel like people um, tend to give you like advice often about that stuff? Or like how do you, what would you say about that? Yes, usually people, whenever they see that you have problematic skin, mm -hmm. you know, it, I just think that maybe it's just an instinct. Yeah, people yeah. just want to, there's this like itch to just tell you um, what you should be doing yes. to get rid of it. And it's like, mm, See, the thing is, you don't even know my skin type. Exactly. You don't even know what kind of acne I'm dealing with. Because there's different types of acne, especially. But the most stubborn ones are those that are related to diseases and hormonal acne. Mm -hmm. So it's like, first of all, you should have like a, an, an in-depth knowledge of what you're talking about. Yes. Otherwise, if you're just giving like, you know, just general advice that everyone gets, mm -hmm. like, mm -mm, it's not going to work. I completely agree with that. So I feel like... You know, before you give advice, ask first, mm -hmm. um, and also know what you're talking about. Yes. 
and yeah just also understand that you know we all have different skin so whatever works for you like might not necessarily work for the other person mm -hmm. i i want to ask you something and i hope this mm -hmm. doesn't like trigger anything or offend yeah, you but right. You know, with Instagram, so everyone mm -hmm. has like, let's be real, like amazing yeah. skin on there, right? Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like, I guess, insecure? Does that ever like kind of make you like feel a type of way? Like, do you want to see more real skin on Instagram? Like, what's your perspective on that? Because I feel like I can't 100% relate to it. But mm -hmm. at the same time, like, it breaks my heart when yeah. people do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think for a very long time, actually, um, I have been very insecure about my skin. Like... Mm -hmm. I couldn't even like walk out without having foundation wow, okay. of my on my skin. Even for like the, you know the smallest of the smallest things, like you know just going out, you know just to run a little errand, mm -hmm. couldn't walk out without any type of makeup on wow, my okay. skin because I was that insecure. Wow, okay. Nobody, I think most of my friends at that time didn't even know how my natural skin looked like, wow. and then I couldn't even post pictures oh, at okay. all like I didn't even like I was that insecure <laughs> honestly wow, okay. so um I think definitely yeah Instagram can be triggering of course yeah when you have like really like when you have problematic skin yeah it can be really triggering but then also like there's um you just have to find the right people as well yes. there's a lot of people I think out there who are very mindful of like the fact that you know we all have different types of skins and yeah. there's so many people who have problematic skin and there's so many people who deal with so many different kinds of skin issues mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're out there and they're really like you know winning and they're really um bringing that awareness so i think you just have to find the right people there are a lot of people on, on instagram who are not afraid to show their insecurities yes. they're not afraid to show their imperfections so and as much as majority of the people aren't like that, there's still also some people who can really inspire you. You of just have to course, find them. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so do you, would you like for anyone watching right now that mm. I guess is going through that right now and they're feeling a bit insecure and they have a bit more problematic skin, do you have any advice for them? Because it seems like you've kind of overcome that a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's a journey. Of course. <laughs> oh, of you course. Just, ooh, it's <laughs> a journey. <laughs> you have to... No, but I, I think you just get to a point where you just feel like, okay, I'm just so tired of not liking myself. Yeah. I'm just so over it. Of course. So um, I think you just have to get to that place where be kind to yourself. Mm -hmm. You just have to be kind to yourself and understand that you're not alone. There's so many people in the world who deal with similar issues and even others who deal with worse issues. Yeah. Again, it also goes back to finding those people who can inspire you as well mm -hmm. um, getting rid of like the triggers if you yeah. feel like you know certain people that you're following are making you more insecure yeah stop following them you know yeah. find find your tribe find your people yes <laughs> find those people who inspire you yeah and also yeah just be kind to yourself um, take care of yourself um, love yourself it's not gonna be easy it's a journey Preach. step by step Preach. Yeah, step by step, just take care of yourself, you know, do all the things that you need to do to make sure that, you know, you're staying healthy, mentally, mm -hmm. emotionally, physically. And yeah, that's all I can say. I love that. Yeah. So I have another question. So mm -hmm. as you see, like a lot of makeup artists, I guess they always post beautiful models and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that and they have the best skin. Yeah. Do you feel like that's kind of... Not, not that I'm saying it's bad, because mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything bad with that. But do you feel like that people should start doing more real skin? Because yeah. we, like, you know, everyone mm -hmm. has real skin. Like, yeah. what, what are yeah. you, what's your intake on that? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, more people should come out, like, more, like, uh, makeup artists. Yes. Who, you know, should come out and show the different types of skin yeah. that are out there. Because it's not only one type of skin that's yeah. there. Like, people, so many different people who have different skin textures mm -hmm. uh, skin texture textures yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um yeah uh, so i think it's important to inspire people yeah no i was going to lift your head okay. up because you should not lift your head down you're a queen and they we rise our heads up okay <laughs> sure <laughs> um yeah it's very important like to you know show raise awareness yes and just you know um be inclusive mm -hmm. because that's where we're headed at and that's so right. like that's that's who we should be and that's how we should be we should always be inclusive of everyone yes is there anything that you want to i guess touch on that you feel like people should know or like is there anything that 
you would want to say something like to anyone like watching right now like would you do you have any like thing that you want to say for someone that's getting like really insecure about all these beautiful models that they see on instagram and stuff like that but i feel like i don't want to do that i don't even have <laughs> Yeah, yeah, again, as I said before, it's a journey. Um, so you just have to understand that you know you are unique. Yes, you know, there's no one like you. Actually, there's no one, like there's you no in, the one world. in the world, no one in the world like you. You have to understand that there's a power that you possess, mm -hmm. and like you are incredible just the way you are. Yeah, you're beautiful just the way you are. Mm -hmm. Your uniqueness is what makes you you, and it's what makes you beautiful. So, even with the you know, skin imperfections, you're still perfect, you're still great, you're still amazing. So, um, learn to, like, you know, just understand that, like, sometimes it can be hard to, like, register that, especially if you spend so much of your life, you know, not liking yourself yeah. or picking yourself apart. Oh, I don't like this about me, I don't like this, I don't like this, I wish I was different, mm -hmm. I wish I looked different. Um, it's gonna take some time, but once you start, you know, talking to yourself in a different way, mm -hmm. and once you start seeing yourself in a different light, things get better. Because I was once you, I was so insecure, like I couldn't do this, like I couldn't even come in front of the camera. And yeah, do this. like I couldn't even post any pictures on Instagram. I was so insecure. Look at me. <laughs> yes, and <laughs> look at me. <laughs> exactly. I want to also point. I, I want to touch on something that yeah. I've noticed. So. A lot of people that do have problematic skin, mm -hmm. right? When you do post a photo um, yeah. that without makeup, mm -hmm. and people say, "Oh, I'm so proud of you and stuff," does that annoy you? Because I feel like that would annoy me because yeah. it's not like I'm not trying to sound mm -hmm. like rude or anything, but I don't think like what is there to be proud of that you are comfortable within your own skin? Is that something as well you find rude, or am I just a bit oversensitive and like <laughs> thinking too far into it? Like sometimes, like I feel like yeah, people might be having the best intentions yeah. when doing that but still again at the same time I feel like yeah it's, it's a bit like it's like you're telling that person oh that's not normal yes okay. yeah it's like you're telling that person oh you're doing such a brave thing when yeah. mm, actually really? they should be doing that yes because, you know <laughs> we're okay. all beautiful and we're all different so you're not insensitive okay good <laughs> but well you're not too sensitive yeah. but like um I feel like um most people might not know that you know it's rude. Of course, yeah. Um, a lot of people might not know that it's rude, but yeah, yeah just be mindful again. It's about being sensitive and being mindful um, about others because yeah, I know sometimes like you know something that you're not you've not experienced, you can't really relate to. But of course. Just always think about it and try to put yourself in other people's shoes. I yeah. love that. That's awesome. Great advice, babe. At some point, you just get to that point where you just get so tired of it, like of just so tired of you know picking on yourself and hating yourself or hating certain things about yourself. That's right. So it's yeah, it's just important to you know just step by step understand that you're not gonna get where you want to be. Like you're not gonna become confident just like that. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know, just you're not gonna go from all really insecure to Beyonce confident. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> But that's the reality, you know, right? In the day, yeah. But, you know, um, it's a yeah. journey. That's a, yeah, it's that's a journey. Right. Yeah. So you just understand that you have to be kind to yourself. Just be kind to yourself and love yourself through it, through the good and the bad. Yes. Yeah. Because you, you are loved. You are amazing, and you are everything. Like you are beautiful, and you are worth it. Amen. Mm. Once you start realizing that, it, it's actually so liberating. Oh, like, I bet. Yeah. Honestly, I like, feel like people. Don't talk about self-love as often mm -hmm. as they should. No, oh, it's so important. It's really important to like take care of your mental health because yeah, acne can really affect you like mentally. It can really bring you down. Some people have have even gotten like depression from it. So wow. Yeah, it's 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 sad. It can be oh. hard. So just make sure that you know you're staying connected to like the right people. You're staying mm -hmm. positive. If anyone makes you feel insecure about yourself because of how your skin is, like, oh, honey, you don't need them in your life. Just drop them. Thank you. Okay. So your mental health is far much important than any relationship or any friendship because anyone who puts you down shouldn't even be in your life anyway. So literally. Yeah, just be mindful about that and take care of your mental health. Um, if you need to talk to someone please do because I've, I've known people who've really been affected because of how they look like they really hated themselves Aww. so um, 
Yeah, just yeah, just be mindful about that and take care of yourself. Yeah, she her name is Olafel, but she's American, so. Oh. So she's in America. She is, or uh, I think she is a Nigerian woman. Um, and I think they um they're migrants and they live in America. She's a very like successful NUA, and she's also been one to deal with like really severe acne. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's she's I think she's documented her journey um on Instagram as well as Facebook and YouTube all over. So um, she's been one of those, you know, people who are very inspiring because she doesn't shy away from showing her insecurities and her face is like, yeah, she has a lot of acne, scarring and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So she's always inspiring people who are like her to be confident in themselves despite the imperfections. So she's a really great role model. Yeah, I actually checked her out and mm -hmm. I love, love her face. Like, yeah. Everything she posts is very like. Yeah. And I love it because she's confident within her skin. Yeah. Like, yeah. And you can tell. Mm -hmm. Might not even know it, but like you're here being insecure, but you know, to someone or to some people, I think yeah, you are an inspiration. Yeah. So oh, it's like, okay. See, that's life. Yeah, right? It, it <laughs> it's is. funny. It's so funny, like, mm -hmm. when you actually think about it. But... I like that, you know, with you, you also don't try to just, you know, you're not just about, like, the makeup. Yeah. You also try to be, you know, a human being. You try Aww, to... <laughs> thank you. You're not just doing it just for the sake of, of doing course. it. Of you course. Know? You also try, you also care, you also, you know, you also spread positivity. Uh, like every single morning, I'm like, I just go through your strike because uh, I'm like, uh, I need to get the morning girl, inspiration. Oh my god, that literally, like, I used to think before that people mm -hmm. like wouldn't really watch it because uh, they're like, oh, like, why are they gonna, like, do you know, like, who's gonna yeah. really relate to me? But I would start getting like feedback on like certain things, mm -hmm. and I'm like, you know what, like, even if it helps one person, yeah, that's all I care about. You Actually, know? it's so important because, like, that's how you're like, you know, you're different. Yeah, not just like a makeup artist. Yeah, you know? you're a makeup artist. You're Jess. You're a human being. You're so loving. Oh, I love that. Thank you yeah. so much. You Thanks. try to bring also that aspect of you know humanity to your job, and I think it's amazing. Thank you so much. I didn't make her say this. <laughs> No. no, I really appreciate that because like I just remember when I was young I was so insecure mm -hmm. and like I just don't ever want anyone to feel like that like oh, I genuinely yeah. don't because it really does yeah, F with a lot do you know yeah. what I mean like it yeah. stuffs up with a lot of your yeah. your mental well-being mm -hmm. and stuff that you you know you, yeah. I don't ever want anyone to feel like that I want people that I see that leave my chair they're like mm -hmm. they feel so empowered yeah. and they just do you know what I mean? Like we're yeah. queens, like you should want to do stuff with yeah, yourself. It's true. And also like yeah, it's rare to find like, you know, people makeup artists who are, you know, who also want to care about their clients as well. Oh. And they care about um their well being, their yeah. mental health. Because you know, sometimes some some of them just you know, just do the job for the sake of Yeah, doing and it. they yeah. just wanna get like paid yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, mm. they, they don't try to like, you know, relate to their clients, they yeah. don't try to like form relationships. Yeah. So like you're doing a great job. Thank you so thank you so much. Like I'm always looking forward to like you I know your stories will be, are going to have something <laughs> positive <laughs> to inspire someone. So I'm always like oh, I'm waiting for her to post. <laughs> You're like, you're like a, an artist, like a real artist, like, you know, like, I like how you just, <laughs> you're just going, you're you giving know, me a big head, head guys. Head. <laughs> Stop, you're like literally the See, like, that is like such a cute technique. Oh, thank <laughs> I you. I feel like that's how, like, artists usually are, like, get looking from here and you know, like. <laughs> I literally always mix my, I mix everything. I just feel like there's no such thing as just, like, one sh product or one shade that works well with anyone if that makes sense. Blush just brings that, you know. It just say like girl mm. it just gives you that Woo. just give you that mm. like you just want to be like wow. mm. okay then yeah okay, then Jess I'll
All right, everyone, this is the final result. Honey, what do you think? I am in love with myself. Yes. Like 10 times more. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Wow. You look so amazing. Yeah. Do you have any like last words of advice for anyone watching? Or do you want to say anything? Well, um, just again, love yourself. Learn to love yourself. Um, and just be happy. Live your best life. And don't be too harsh on yourself. And you matter. You're amazing. And you need it in this world. So yeah. that's all. <laughs> I love that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this amazing glam. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.